Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to learn how to use the folder panel in Lightroom so that we can easily organize our images. As you can see, I have added a number of images to my catalog. Right now I'm in the Hong Kong folder, in the folder called 2015. And let's just scroll down a little bit. And you'll notice that I have a number of images here that I photographed at a market. So I'm going to select all of those images, and I want to put those images into their own separate folder. I'm going to do that from within Lightroom. I don't want to use the operating system to do this, otherwise Lightroom's going to lose the link or the path to those images. So on the folders panel, there's a plus icon, and if I click that plus icon, you'll notice that I can add a subfolder, which would add my folder directly within the Hong Kong folder, or I can add a folder anywhere. For right now, let's start by adding a subfolder. I'll call this Market, and I'm going to include the selected photos. When I choose Create, we can see that if I use the disclosure triangle, I now have a folder called Market inside of Hong Kong. And if we right mouse click on the Hong Kong folder or control click on the Mac and choose Show in Finder, we can see that I've actually created through Lightroom this Market folder in the operating system. So whatever folders you create or images that you move within Lightroom, you're actually moving in the operating system. All right, let's return back to Lightroom, and I want to add a few more images to the market. But the interesting thing is, the way that Lightroom is set up by default is that not only can I see the images in the Hong Kong folder, I can also see like a flattened view where I see the market images as well. Let me show you what I mean. If I click on the market folder, now I'm just seeing the 16 images that are in the market. Right? And I know that because right here it says there's 16 photos. When I go back up to Hong Kong and we look, sure enough, I can still see those 16 market images. So that's a little bit different from the default way that you would view your images in the operating system. If I ever want to limit the images that I see in the parent folder, in this case the Hong Kong folder, I can use the plus icon and turn off the show photos in subfolders. As soon as I do this, you'll notice that I now only have 106 images that are loose in the Hong Kong folder and 16 images in the market folder. So as I scroll down, I no longer see those images here that are in the market. Only I do see two more. So let's go ahead and select these images. They're in the Hong Kong folder, but I wanted to show you that you can also just drag and drop between different folders. So being sure that I'm clicking inside the thumbnail for the image, I'll drag and drop this from the Hong Kong folder to the market folder. And you can see that I get a warning that I'm actually moving the files on the hard drive. I'll click Move, and Lightroom will move those files for me. Now we can see that I can no longer view the market images while I'm in the Hong Kong folder. Of course, if I come down to the market folder, there they all are. Now one thing that I will just point out, because I don't want it to catch you off guard, is that you'll notice that the total file count here for my other folders has dropped to zero. That's only because I don't have any photographs loose in those folders. If we use the disclosure triangle to see what's inside the 2013 and 2014 folders, you can see that the photographs are still within those subfolders. If I use the plus icon here and I enable the show photos and subfolders again, then you can see that not only can I see the total pixel count within each subfolder, but also for the parent folder. All right, what if I want to see the parent folder or the folder that contains 2013, 2014, and 2015. Then all I need to do is right mouse click, or again on Mac, control click on any of these folders and choose to show the parent folder. Now we can see that I have a folder on my hard drive called Image Vault, and inside that folder are all of these subfolders. Lightroom didn't automatically add or import additional files in the Image Vault. It's just showing me that parent folder. If I ever want to hide the parent folder, then I select it, right mouse click, and choose Hide This Parent. You can see that the subfolders still remain in my Lightroom catalog, and Lightroom's keeping track of all of those photographs. 
Now, what if I wanted to add a folder somewhere outside of these three folders? Well, if I click the plus icon, I can choose to add a folder anywhere. In fact, not only can I add a folder on this hard drive, but you'll notice that I can navigate to an external hard drive and create a new folder there. So let's say I'm finished working with some of my images. I'll create a new folder on this external hard drive and I'll call it archives. Then I'll click create and then choose. You'll notice in the folder area that now not only can I see the internal hard drive on this Mac, I can also see the external drive and there is the new folder that I just created. If I'm finished with my still life folder full of images and I would decide that I want to move it from my internal drive to that external drive, all I need to do is click and drag that folder. Again, Lightroom will warn me that it's moving the files on disk. So Lightroom's not going to make a copy of these files. It's actually going to remove them from the internal drive and copy them onto the external drive. So there you go. There's a quick overview of how you use the folder panel in Lightroom. My name's Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.